Hi, I'm David and I've been a Christian for ooh, 26 years, so I've heard lots of <laughs> answered prayers. Um, I remember one time, it was about 10 years ago now, and I was training to be a vicar. And uh, we owned a house um, up in Chorley, um, but we were living down in Bristol where I was training. And um, the house that we owned flooded. And that meant that um, we... <laughs> We lost all rental income from that, but we were still paying a mortgage on it. Uh, but meanwhile, we were paying for our rent down in Bristol. And uh, those two together added up to more than our monthly income. And that uh, that became quite a, uh, a big deal, obviously. And I remember uh, one day I popped round to the shop to, to buy some stuff and uh, my card was declined. We weren't, uh, you know, we had no money in the bank. <laughs> And so uh, I went home, and uh, at the time we had a, a, a little girl, one little girl, we've got two now, but at the time we just had the one, she was about two years old. And uh, we scrapped round the house to try and find some money, and we managed to find £1.26. And that £1.26 was going to have to last us for about another three weeks until we had any more money coming into the bank. And... Uh, I remember just, we had no food in the house, and I remember just thinking, what on earth are we going to do? How are we going to feed our child? How are we going to look after ourselves? And it really felt like, um, it felt like a moment of despair. So uh, we prayed, and then I took the £1.26, and I went round to the corner shop, and I bought some milk, and I bought some bread, and then I came home. And we went to bed. Anyway, the next day, uh, the post arrived. And uh, when it arrived in the post was a gift from our sending church, the church that we'd been members of up in Chorley before I went to train. And it was a £150 worth of Tesco vouchers. <laughs> it was just this incredible thing. And so I went to, um, that day we jumped in the car, went to the shop and we bought food for the week. It was amazing. Such an exciting thing. Um, then later on that day, there was a knock at the door and um, we went to the door and we opened it and one of our friends was there who I, I won't embarrass. And they, they said to us, we, I was praying and uh, God told me to give this to you. And he handed me an envelope and then he, he legged it, which was unused to him because normally he'd stick around and chat. So I thought that was weird and closed the door and opened the envelope and he'd given us a check for a thousand pound the next day I went into college and another friend came up to us and said I know this sounds weird but uh I was praying and God told me to give you this and I took the envelope and again he, he left and I opened it and it was a check for 500 pound that was all within 24 hours of sitting at this dining room table despairing, looking at pound twenty six in change, wondering how we were going to feed our child. Um, all that money, by the way, didn't sort everything out. We were still in our overdraft in the bank, even after all that. But it was this amazing answer to prayer that God just went, don't worry, I'll look after you. 